Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sammy. Um, it has been a hot minute. It's been like a month or something. I got the Hourglass Foundation. I don't know if this is my shade, but we're just gonna... Oh! Good shade match, Sammy. The reason we are doing a chit chat, get ready with me. My first time back in forever is if you aren't following Beauty Guru drama, which honestly, I'm jealous because that's all I see right now. This is my first time using this foundation, so if it turns out ugly, I'm sorry. All the crap that's happening with like Manny MUA, Laura Lee, um, Gabriel Zamora. Is Nikita Dragon like a thing anymore? Basically, I guess they were all at a NARS invited event or trip or something, I'm not too sure. NARS invited. Nikita Dragon, Gabriel Zamora, Laura Lee, and Manny Emue. Actually, I was watching a Karina Kaboom video, and she was calling him PayPal Emue. I'm not sure, like, why, but it was so funny. If y'all know why, let me know in the comments, because I think that's hilarious. This is a good shade match. This foundation is beautiful. They all took a picture flicking off the camera. I think they were, like, copying some Kylie Jenner, like, Kardashian shit or whatever. But they did that, Hang on. and then Gabriel, I think he posted it on Twitter, and said something along the lines of, he's bitter because we're doing better without him, which everyone assumed, I'm almost positive, 100%, that he was talking about Jeffrey, because, you know, him and Jeffrey were friends, like, Jeffrey was friends with everyone in that picture up until now. So it's just natural that we assume it was about Jeffrey, you know? Jeffrey, he didn't really get butt hurt. He just went on to Snapchat, as he usually does, and just talks about it. Wow, I put on so much foundation. I did not mean to do that. And then people started looking into... Because at first, I think it was Gabriel that people looked into their past tweets. And they noticed some... Racist tweets, as most beauty gurus have these days. And I think he got called out for that. He got shit for it. I'm not... I think he apologized and then apologized to Jeffrey on Twitter. Like, I haven't kept up with Gabriel because his tweets are, um, privated. So I can't even look at his tweets. So I don't know. I'm not following him and I don't want to. Because I never found him interesting. Well, Manny anyway had all that drama going on with, um, that girl at a meet and greet. He, like, gave her a weird face because she didn't want to hug him or whatever. Which he apologized for, and I'll give him that. He, it was a decent apology, I thought. Y'all might have different opinions, but I think he was genuine. I don't think he should have said her name, though. Karina Kaboom, I just started watching Karina Kaboom. She, um, she said that she, he shouldn't have said her name. Because now all of his fans are going to her channel and attacking her, which is not good. I'm using the Laura Mercier Concealer in the shade N1. I think it's the lightest shade they had. If you don't know, she has um, autism. And if you don't know what autism is, like, Google it. Like, how do you not know what that is? But yeah, she has autism. So basically, like, what happened to her with Manny happened over a year ago. But since she has autism, she can't really, um, I guess, properly let go of things. Like, I'm not speaking for her. I'm just, I guess, assuming because, you know, she brought it up a year later. So I guess she just can't let go of it. And rightfully so, you know, like, that would mess anyone up. Having someone give you a weird face and they're like this big person, you know. Now, everyone is going to this girl's channel and attacking her. Basically calling her an ugly piece of shit and all that. You know, Manny hasn't spoken up and said anything, I don't think. I haven't checked his Twitter, but don't quote me. If he has, put down in the comments and I will stand corrected. But as far as I know, he hasn't said anything. I think that's kind of um, trashy because he kind of caused it. Everyone's going to attack her, which honestly is sad. Like, people are messed up. Like, they should have been giving Manny all that hate, not her. Like, I don't get it. Moving on from Manny, 
who at least, you know, put out a decent apology video, even though he kind of messed up. But I'll commend him that. I'll, you know, he did good. Moving on to Laura Lee. Now, Laura Lee, she messed up, like, big time. And I look like a rat, so I'm sorry. But she messed up. And there's no denying that. Laura Lee uploaded an apology. It was not even five minutes long. It was just her. It's kind of like these people, like Manny and Laura, um, for their apology. They literally just, like, which I guess is a good thing. But I don't know if this was, like, already in their mind or anything. But it's kind of like they literally just went to a drama channel and listened to exactly what they had to do for a video. And then, you know, Manny, he actually did okay. Like, his apology was decent. He just, you know, didn't apologize to Jeffree Star or anyone else. Except that one girl and then the tweet about his Uber driver not speaking English. But it seems like Laura... She went to a drama channel to see what she had to do, took the advice, and fucked herself. She fucked herself right in the ass so hard with those fake tears. Like, I guess she just assumed, like, oh, I have to cry. Like, that's the only way I'm gonna get to people is if I cry. Bitch, this video started out with her not even, like... You know how, like, sometimes when people cry, you can still understand them? This bitch, the whole five minutes, you could not understand what she was saying. Like, she sounded like a little rat, and I did not understand what was happening. Me and my friend Hunter were watching it. We were like, what the fuck? Like, if you are not a crier, and you have to force yourself to cry, just don't cry. Compose yourself, get it together, and then speak your truth. Like, it's not that hard to speak the truth. Like, it can be... But if it's the 100% truth and you are truly sorry about what you did, it should not be that hard. And she was just going crazy. Forgot everything she said, but she just, she didn't really address, like, the tweets she tweeted herself. She, like, she started out the video by obviously crying like crazy and saying she was sorry for disappointing us. I kind of hate when people say that in their apologies. I don't know, it's just, I don't know, like, you should be more disappointed in yourself than we are disappointed in you, because you let yourself do that, you know? But she finally apologized for her tweets, tweets, but they were the retweets that she retweeted, not her own tweets, so she didn't even acknowledge those. She didn't even acknowledge the tweets of her saying, like, um... Hey, black people, pull up your pants so you can run from the police faster. Like, just vile, nasty, racist tweets that she didn't even... Like, she tweeted those, and she didn't acknowledge it. Like, I guess she just wasn't ready to talk about that, but... That's still no excuse. Like, I don't care, you know? Her apology was just a shit show. I was kind of just, like, I didn't even feel bad for her. Even when she got to the part, like... Like, you're gonna think I'm a stone-cold bitch, but even when she got to the part about her family getting death threats and shit, I didn't feel bad because if your family is really getting death threats, do not talk about it online. Go to the freaking police. Yes, it sucks that they're getting death threats, and I'm sorry, but go to the police and have them doing something. Like, you can't just expect people to stop being rude. Like, it's the internet, sis. Like, that's not gonna happen. I honestly don't know how I feel... I don't know how I feel about this whole, like, beauty guru drama stuff. Like, I'm kind of over it. Oh my god, that's horrible. I'm kind of over it at this point. Like, I'm just to the point where I don't care. Like, they're all going to mess up every day. It happens every day, so why even bother to care, you know? Well, that is it. Um, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button for, you know, my comeback on YouTube. If you want more videos like this, let me know because I like making them, but just give me a topic to talk about and I'll gladly do that. But other than that, I will probably just do like tutorials, um, 
If anything happens in the YouTube beauty community, I will probably do a chit chat, get ready with me, or just a sit down video. I will talk to you guys next time. Um, hope you have a wonderful day, and yeah, bye.